Snyder and Jones hate Goodell. I said, no, this is not my job to fire your commissioner. He works for you. Remember, uh, Goodell is a coward, and he is incompetent, and he's just lucky. Um, Jerry Jones, the owner of the Cowboys, uh, Ingrid Newey with PepsiCo, and Dan Snyder all called me, um, several other folks, uh, about Goodell's conduct and the way he was handling this. Jones and Dan Snyder with the Redskins wanted uh, Goodell fired. This is like the November the 31st or something. It was the day before, like uh, the 1st of November, end of October. They called me and said, you need to take this guy out. You're the number one sponsor of the, the league as far as notoriety and uh, acceptance and association. Uh, everybody loves you. They love Peyton. We hate Goodell. He, Snyder says he sits on 57th Street, 57th Street all day long and drinks Chardonnay. He's a drunk. And yet we pay him $50 million a year. Snyder and Jones hate Goodell. I said, no, this is not my job to fire your commissioner. He works for you. I just sell pizzas. I have a family of small businesses that, you know, probably 35% of our spends NFL, it's down 20%. Your, this behavior of not addressing the issue to the owners and players' satisfaction is causing me and my franchisees a lot of problem, and this has been, been going on now for two seasons. So Goodell's been on thin ice with some of the, you know, the more prevalent and more outspoken owners for some time. But, Jason, I had a free shot from two owners to go after Goodell personally. I didn't go after him in a vicious, you know, venomous way. I just said, hey, grow up, be a leader, and fix the problem so my small business owners stop taking it on the chin. Your second question is, remember, Papa John's is an American icon. The Papa John's story is the American dream. Um, we have money, cash flow in $200 million a year in EBITDA. Um, everybody knows the brand. Everybody knows the story. It was done the right way, the hard way. We took everybody up with us on the way. Papa John's debunks everything the left stands for. So if you're going to put a company in the crosshairs on your first shot across the bow for cancel culture, it's going to be John Schnatter. That's going to be the first shot you take because um, of just all the things I just mentioned. <clears throat> and I don't think, I think they were going to find something. They were digging so hard. I, we've got a number up to $33 million that they spent on investigations going back 20, 25, 30 years, trying to find any little person or any little smidge or any little thing that they can find to hurt me on the PR because they know it sells clicks.